Hello, this is Amin, and you're watching session 54 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this session, we are going to talk about paging in ASP.NET Core MVC and implementing pagination on the list that we have for cost list. We can implement paging on the list with several ways, and in this tutorial, we are going to implement it with x pagedlist.mvc.core new get package and as you can see in this slide we want to implement the pagination same as the paging that you can see below the list and we have three items and three records per page and we can navigate between the pages with the button that we have in the below of the list for this purpose, first I should install the xpage uh, list.mvc.core NuGet package. Let me flip to Visual Studio and first install the required package. Then I will do some changes inside the controller and action method, which is index action method. As I, and as you can see, I can use two page list and it has the number of records per page and also the current page that present the data and then we should do some changes inside the view to have these features inside the view but let's flip to visual studio and do it step by step this is the project that we have been working so far throughout this tutorial first i'm going to dependency right click on the dependencies and Click on Manage NuGet Packages. Then I'm going to browse and I'm going to search for x.pagelist.mvc. And as you can see, I can find these two NuGet packages x.pagelist.mvc and x.pagelist.mvc.core and i'm going to install this one and as you can see uh, it is for uh, .NET version 6 and also .NET core app version 3.1 and the above versions i'm going to install x.pagelist.mvc.core and i'm clicking install button I expect to have it installed. I'm going to install it and we can see I have x.pagelist.mvc.core. Next step, I should add this paging inside the controller and action method that I want to send the data to the view to be displayed inside the list. I'm going to cast controller and inside index. I can use two page list method. This is the list that I received from the repository and from the database. And I can implement the criteria for search and search for. And next I can use two page list method. I should add its namespace. And the namespace is inside using dot x dot page list and then i have several overloaded version i'm using the overload version which needs the page number and also the number of record per page this one and for time being i'm going go to page one and i need three record per page let me save the changes and without doing any changes inside the view, I am going to launch this project to see the result. As you can see, project is built successfully and here project is up and running. I'm going to cost list and as you can see, I have already three records. I'm not sure whether I have more records or not. Let me check it inside the sql server object explorer i'm going to sql server object explorer 
and I'm looking for the server that I have my database installed there. I'm going to cast DB and tables. And I have cast tables here. Let me see the records. And as you can see, I just have two records. Let me register one or two more records to have to exceed the number of a record per page i'm going to create one record and press create button but you can see i still have two records inside the list i'm going to add another one And you can see, as long as I have more than three records inside my database, I just can see three records. Let me add the required changes to browse between the pages. Let's back to Visual Studio. And here, let me refresh this view. And you can see I have five records and just I can saw three records. Let me close it. And here, I want to go to the page. And this is the current page. And if its value is null, go to record one. Where can I, I mean, assign this page? Here, I can say uh, int value, and it would be page. I can add the page through the URL. Also add a question mark here because page is not a mandatory query string. And first time when I launched this action uh, method, uh, its value is null. And if the value is null, I'm going to page one. That's why I should add the question mark there. Let me save the changes and build the project again. Project is built successfully. And I refresh the page. You can see I still have three pages, but here I can use query string and say page is equal to. And you can see I can uh, see the rest of the pages. That's why I can use this query string to move between the pages. And if I again go to page one, I can see the uh, first page of this list and if I go to the invalid page you can see I can't see any records inside the list let's back to Visual Studio and do the rest of the implementation now I should do some changes inside the view to have the pagination below the uh, current list That's why I'm going to cast index. And here, first I should add the required namespace. They are inside the uh, x.pagelist.mvc.core and also x.pagelist, which is the uh, core of this uh, package. And as long as I installed x.pagelist.mvc.core, the x.pagelist is automatically installed. That's why first I should inject them. I inject these packages inside the view using x.pagelist.mvc.core. Now I can implement the pagination below the form. And here I should use a HTML helper, which is related to this package. The name of the HTML helper is page list pager. That's why I'm using HTML helper. And its name is page list pager. It needs the uh, model, uh, the model which includes this list data. And I should change the type of that one to iPage list. And I'm using the 
model that I have inside this view. And next, I should use a lambda expression and a function to have the URL be, uh, behind this list to display the number of pages. That's why I'm using lambda expression. And here I'm using URL dot action, which creates a, a anchor element. And inside that one, I mentioned the name of action method that I want to be reached. And also here, I'm going to pass the T model. And here is page, and it's automatically create a a list of pages with the number of the page that I can explore between the different pages that display the uh, data of the list. Let me save the changes and run the project to see the result. And as you can see, I have the, the pagination below this list. And when I'm going to second page, I transfer the list automatically to second page. And here I can move between the pages. Let me add more record with category bill. And as you can see, I have two record of bills here, two here and one here. Totally, I have five record of bills. Now I'm going to search for category with bill and search it. You can see I have three first record and I have page navigation here. But as long as click on the second page, you can see I have the rest of categories, rent, and again, it's reset to the area that I don't have any filter because I should add this criteria and this search inside the URL and I should add this query string to the uh, page list pager uh, HTML helper that I have. Uh, let's back to Visual Studio and do the required changes inside the uh, view. And here I should say if page is equal page and also if search for has value. Now how I can you have access to the URL through view, I can do it with context dot request dot query. And inside the query, I can mention the query that I'm looking for, which is search for. And also I have another one, which is for search by. And I say it equal. And here I should add at sign. And here I'm going to use the context again. That request that query and this time I'm looking for query string with name search by and here I have a typo and also here I have another typo it should be search by let me save the changes again and run the project to see the result project is built successfully and I refresh the page and again I'm going to cost list and now I'm searching for category with name of bill you can see I I can see the first page with three record of uh, cost with category of bill and now if I'm going to the second page you can see I can see the rest of the record with bill category and now my list and my pagination is working perfectly without any error and if i clear the search i again have uh, three pages with the record of cost and if i'm going to search for 
again uh, another uh, criteria for example rent you can see I have just one record and I don't have pagination to go to the next page because the number of records is not exceed the limitation of the record per page and we implement the pagination correctly to the list that we have now I want to change the appearance of this one and also as I have some records with null value if this time I'm going to search for record by command you can see an error will be uh, occur because the database try to find the, the record in a nullable property which through an exception let me find and I'm going to uh, find a record which contains word of bill inside the common and as long as I search you can see uh, an error uh, occur and I don't and, and I can see the result first I'm going to solve this issue and then I'm going to add the style to this one for this purpose first I should go to SQL server cast repository inside the method which is related to cost list here I should add a, a criteria to omit the null values for this purpose I should use the condition if ser.comment isn't null go for this query Otherwise, it means if the uh, comment is null, don't consider it. For this purpose, I said if ser.comment not null. And I should add one parenthesis here and remove one parenthesis from here. With these changes, if the comment has a value, the uh, EF core will search inside that uh, property to find whether it has a value with the criteria that I entered. Otherwise, it's looking for the uh, record which its value is not null and let me save the changes and run the project to see whether my problem is solved or not. Once more, I'm going to cost list and again, I'm going to search for the comments with word of bill. And you can see I find it successfully and this time I solve this issue and for example, I'm looking for the comments uh, for the record which comments contain word of payment. And you can see the issue has been solved for the uh, nullable uh, property. You can use this uh, line of uh, code to solve the uh, uh, through an exception which is referenced to null value. And the last part of this session is adding the style to uh, this pagination. Let's back to Visual Studio and to the index view. And here, the next part is adding the required class to page list pager. It has one option, same as other HTML helper which is page list render option and that's why I can say I want to use a new xlist.web.comment.pagelist options and here I can use the uh, available option that I have I will provide you a link that you can explore more inside this uh, list and for assigning the bootstrap classes to this pagination, 
first I'm going to li element class and I add a new string which I can add a list of classes to uh, this uh, page list render option and I'm using a bootstrap class which is page item. If you are not familiar with bootstrap you can visit the bootstrap website and also here I should add equal. And the next option is page class and I equal it with new another array of a string and here I can use the proper bootstrap class which is page link. Let me save the changes and run the project. Project is up and running. Let me refresh the page. And you can see I have the pagination with better style and I can move uh, in the uh, pages which contains the number of record that I assign inside the controller. Let's back to Visual Studio and explain uh, some more feature. And here inside the cast controller, if I change this value to five, you can see I have the list of cast with five items. And if I refresh this page, you can see the changes has been implemented inside the list. And also you can visit this page, which is uh, the GitHub of x.pagelist slash wiki slash use uh, in ASP.NET Core. And here inside this wiki, you can find the more modification and the way that you can change the pagination. And you can add the style and the way that you want to be displayed inside your website and inside your web application. Thank you for watching this session. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like and share it, and put your comment there to inform us about your question. And once more, thank you for being with us.